having thank saying. you thank you honorable benani please <clears throat> honorable speaker i listen very attentively to the various statements made by honorable members from both sides of the house but we are losing one matter inside and that is that parliament in its very nature is a place of lobby consultation and negotiations the minute that i sit in particular meetings to seek a resolution to an impasse it is within now when i'm told i was in a meeting and i was negotiating of course if you call any meeting of leaders of chief whips that are not even under rules to negotiate on any impasse in parliament that is the very essence of the culture of parliament secondly you can't we can't be pickers and choosers of rules when it suits us when it suits when it suits us this rule is fine when it doesn't suit us it's not fine where is it written where is it written that a member of the opposition shall occupy the position of a chairpersonship of the, of the Public Accounts Committee. It's an international Commonwealth Eskenme rule that a government cannot supervise itself, nor a member of the ruling party. Therefore, the convention says so. Now, I, it's very unfortunate that the, the professor, the young lawyer, or, or Honorable Dausa, Minister of Justice, let me not call her the other names mm -hmm. that I call her outside. Um, the Honorable Dausa said, there is no rule of backbenchers. And I want to give you this analogy as a school of thought in conclusion. Take PDM, any other party away. Let's talk about governments in the world in the Commonwealth system. If one ruling party wins 40 seats, and the president of that party wins presidency, and they have 40 seats, and they form a government, call another party of five seats or 10, and they together form a government, and they appoint all of their members into the executive. What proportionality would apply at the backbencher? And I can give you countries and states that are at that state at this point in time. So when we are doing things, we must do things noting that the Commonwealth practice is more broader than what we are today. I want to conclude by saying, rules of natural justice dictates. On the principles of rules of natural justice, you can't invite me at 11 o'clock to submit names at two o'clock and you say that you have given me due time so colleagues we can go round and round and round and round what we want we want to have a country of whose principles and rules will work for us we were told that evms were correct and constitutional the courts have ruled otherwise we were told so many things in this country so colleagues let's go to courts and adjudicate this matter in the broader interest of our democracy okay. thank you very much thank you thank you very much Let's, on that, we, we have basically concluded on that topic. We move on. Honorable members, I lay upon the table in terms of section 6.3 of the Ombudsman.